I know how badly you guys want to level up fully, get your favorite weapons, get your favorite camo and all that stuff. So basically in this video I'm going to tell you guys how you guys can reach the maximum level in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I have got great tips, some will be obvious and some is going to be unique to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So make sure you watch this video till the end. If you guys want to reach level 55 or the maximum level possible in every game mode possible, if you guys want that then drop a like in the next 5 seconds. Cause if you don't do that, you will never reach level 55 and other major ranks in this game. So make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like in this video. So basically in this season, talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, we don't have traditional challenges that we used to have it in black ops 4 and the other games before that right now there is a new concept that has been introduced in the game which is called the daily challenges and you get a decent amount of xp and sometimes it is bugged up i mean today i was completing the daily challenges and i was not able to do all of the challenges in one game so i had to restart my game after every challenge to complete it so i'm pretty sure this is just a glitch and it will probably get fixed so basically you need to do your daily challenges which will be there in the game and also the, we have a new thing right now in the game which is called as the mission challenges which is going to give you guys a ton of xp now remember guys these mission challenges will not happen by itself you have to go ahead and manually activate it to turn on your missions you can only do one mission per time i mean at one go you can only activate one mission it is going to grant you thousands of xp and rewards and other skin styles camouflages camos and a lot of cool other rewards but again you need to manually activate it from the game before you start it you can switch over to a different mission if you guys are finding it difficult if you find any of the missions first of all the missions are going to be easy in the beginning then after that it is going to get tough but if you think about like okay like this is getting tough you guys can actually start another mission and yeah it will be there forever and if it's tough you can always pause at any time and it is not a time based mission so you can complete it at any time so again if you guys want to get the levels really fast go ahead and start completing those missions in the game and i'm telling you for most of them are easy but some of them are tough but then if it's tough then you can switch to other missions and complete the easy ones to get this free xp the best game modes let's talk about i know how many of you guys are waiting for like what is the best game mode for ranking up in the game right now well i have tested every single game mode with another 24 players and this is what we have right now so the ground war will get you the fastest rank up possible that is right if you guys want to xp a lot of it ground war is uh, the answer the amount of xp per game time played will be the best on ground war as compared to the other uh, game modes that we have over here and also we know like which are the game modes which is going to grant you less xp and the other game modes which is going to get you higher xp so i if in, if you are not into ground war then i do recommend playing domination head heading over to headquarters like first uh, you go with ground war if you need a lot of xp you know then comes domination then comes headquarters then comes team deathmatch then comes cyber attack and last but not least search and destroy so uh, if I, you were playing search and destroy uh, i don't know you won't be getting that much xp and even gunfight it is also a good game mode but i would say ground war is the best because if you we are talking about ground you know uh you know war we have you know like you know different stuff if you have like you know, different perks people spawning on you like 25 xp every now and then every second so it is actually a lot of xp talking about cyber attack and search and destroy you can revive your teammates which is going to give you xp any game mode which has a feature of reviving teammates is going to give you xp you can play that to get this free xp for yourself objective type game modes just like domination or headquarters where you need to capture many flags don't go for the kills tend to go a little bit more towards the xp try in domination try to capture and dominate that spot capture the flag and stay over there and dominate that spot by killing other people but if you capture the flag you get like match bonus like that and th that is some something that other people won't get for themselves 
and also one thing there is just so much information that i want to give out to you guys so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys still have not done that turn on your notification bell that would highly be appreciated guys now winning games will give you good match bonus so whatever xp you get it will become a multiplier if you win that game if you lose a game you're just going to get that much xp but if you win that game your xp will be double your xp will be multiplied after you win that game and also parting up is the is in the best interest if you guys have your friends with you like you know winning games you know go for it invite as many friends possible you know like ask for a friend request play with your mates and that would be the best way to get a ton of xp for yourself make sure to stay till the end of the game to get the match xp bonus so don't leave the game in the middle doesn't matter doesn't matter if you're getting killed or whatever like you are not going to get the xp if you leave the game in the middle so make sure you guys complete the full match in order to get all the xp for yourself in my opinion and what we have seen right now according to all the other players hardcore modes are better than core modes to get xp for yourself cross leveling is there when it comes down to campaign and spec ops and multiplayer they will definitely grant you a lot of xp but then campaign doesn't level up your character spec ops is like just super slow like as slow as possible if you can imagine it is very very slow but multiplayer is the best when you come when it comes down to gaining xp for yourself to get to a, a higher level just to you know just want to clear it out that if you don't want to uh try out like in a different game modes you can just play your own game mode and just have fun also i want to tell you guys if you guys want to have your favorite weapon and i know you guys are using the same weapon to fully level it up so that it, you guys can use it but then let me remind you wide variety of guns will if you level them up at one go will give you more xp let's say you're having an smg and mp5 you're leveling that up but if you're leveling up let's say your your i don't know your uh, ar assault rifle it will grant you more xp because it will have its own levels where it will grant you more xp so i don't know cycle between all the weapons whatever you guys like and in return you are going to get a lot of xp just want to clear it out that don't use waste weapons to get xp because if you get killed in the game trying really hard to use a weapon that you don't really like it is going to be a loss and you can still use your favorite weapon to get kills to get a more xp than the wide variety of weapons so the choice is definitely yours i am just here to tell you guys like what is going to be the best to tell you guys from where you guys can get a lot of xp for yourself score within the game is directly proportional to your xp so if you if your team wins you win if your team gets a lot of xp you get a lot of xp if you don't get a lot of xp your team doesn't so if you help out your your team it will maximize the team effort by using the team score streams like the uav which gives you free xp so here here's the thing out let's play let's think you're playing ground war you get a uav or something you use the uav and every single time someone gets a kill you get 10 points all right 32 people killing all of them so you get you're getting like thousands of points every single ground war game so think about it in that way so maybe use perks which will support the team and in return you are going to get a lot of xp for yourself so these are like so many topics so many topics that i've told you guys right now so if you if you have missed out on any single point you guys can again watch this video back at, back again to see what is going to be the best thing for you guys to get a lot of XP, XP for yourself. Make sure you guys comment down below if you guys have found out any other tactics in the game by far. Yeah, I think these are the only things that is going to grant you a lot of XP. But again, as I asked you guys, comment down below if you guys have found out any other tactics to get a lot of XP in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Guys, like this is going to be an amazing season. If you guys are having questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know which weapons are you guys using this season? Is it an AR? Is it like an MP5 and an MP7? What is your current level in the game? Cuz I want to see like what my subscribers are up to. What you guys are playing? What you guys are enjoying? Cuz that is something that I would like to hear from you guys. So Again, for, so for more tips and tricks, make sure to follow me on my like on all my social media. All right, I've got like a lot of Modern Warfare videos coming up, a lot of tips and tricks, a lot of gameplay. 
that I will be putting up here on the channel, bugs, glitches, and all that. So we are going to be having loads of fun here on, on this channel. So I urge you guys to go ahead and share this video with all your friends so that, that you can tell your friends how to get more XP in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm going to be seeing you guys soon on another one. You guys have a fantastic day ahead. And as always, peace out and definitely check out the videos playing on the screen right now.